have you ever watched children doing activities, doing new activities, playground, games, etc.? Think about what happens when they're presented with something new, with a challenge or with an activity, a, a game, sport, a jungle gym that they haven't played with before. Some kids will gravitate towards that. I want to do that. I want to try that. That looks amazing. That looks fun. I haven't done it before. I don't know if I can, but I really want to. I want to get in there. And other kids will shy away. I don't think I can do it. I'm not sure. I haven't done it before. I'm going to back off. This is the beginning of our mindset. How do we react when we get to a point where something is new, we haven't done it before, and we don't know if we can? So think about activities you've done with family, friends, team building, fellow students, colleagues, etc. Think about situations you've been in where you were required to do something that hadn't been done before. Whether it's a, you know, a, a playful activity, a new game, a sport, whatever. So you're on, you know, you're on holiday with a group of friends and, you know, and someone says, let's play, let's play volleyball. And you'll get people go, oh, that'll be fun. Let's do that. That's a great way to pass the time. No one's expecting you to be a professional volleyball player, but you will get the people who will say, oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not good at that. Now, it's interesting, right? That statement is interesting. I'm not good at that, so I'm not going to do it. It's an indication that the only purpose that you would have in doing something or the only reason you would do it is if you were good. For that person, there's no value in just playing volleyball. It's not a way to pass the time, spend time with friends. I'm not going to do it because I'm not good at it. I'm worried that you're going to think I'm stupid, that I don't know what I'm doing, that I'm going to look like an idiot, and I don't want to be doing something that I know I'm not good at. The purpose is about being good at it. When they're good at stuff, they're all in. That is our mindset. Some of us gravitate towards new stuff because we want to stretch ourselves. I want to see what's out there. I want to explore. I want to stretch. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but that's not the point. The point is the stretching. And then some of us want to remain safe. I want to stay in my competent zone. If I know I can do it, that's where I want to stay. The idea of doing something that I don't know, that I'm not sure of, that might go wrong, that doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to do something if you don't know you can do it, especially, especially not in public. This is the difference between a fixed and a growth mindset. The more you think about it, and I want you to think about it, this is who we are as people. Some of us have the idea that life is about wanting to stretch ourselves, do stuff. It doesn't matter whether or not we can do it. Given a couple of tries, we probably could. We can stretch ourselves. It's in the stretching that we find value. I can do more because I tried to do more. It doesn't matter that I can't do it right now. Like, I'll get there. And then some of us are... I'm only going to try to do something else when I know that I can do it. I stay in safe zones. Now think about your studying. When you get to a point where you're struggling with your studies, how do you respond? Do you stretch yourself or do you want to stay safe?